Yeah, I think a lot of them won't fight because they really ain't got hands like how they say they do. They got guns, but uh, I think a lot of these rappers really ain't got hands. Um, baby on I'm, I'm baby, just, baby the main event. That's it. Baby on baby. Baby on baby. Little baby versus so, the baby. Main mm-hmm. event. And then you can have like Mulatto versus Rini Rucci, you know, at the bottom. Exactly. And like, you know, <laughs> fucking. Uh, he said Rucci. <laughs> <laughs> they got beef. Apparently they got beef. There's beef. Gonna have <laughs> JT versus Flo Millie. Ooh. <sighs> JT <Every> Cardi. <laughs> JT Ooh. probably come through, but Flo Millie might, might whoop her ass, Loki. Yeah, I don't know girls, who to go for. Skinny that. girls can move fast, move them hands fast. They can, and they be ooh the way they just they dislocate their elbow like when they got the hair and they just and it just it's like a windmill. And I'm like, what the fuck is this? All right, <clears throat> let's hit him with it. Hit mm-hmm. it, hit him with it. Mm. Mm. Welcome, welcome, welcome back mm-hmm. to the what is this third, fourth season two episode? Don't three? give a, yeah three. Don't, Don't give, give a fuck. It. Don't give a fuck. We out here. We back. We back. I'm sorry. Like the McRib, we are back. I'm sorry. What's up? Like, What's up? What's up, Bop, Papa Blaze? What we doing? Like the Shamrock Shake, we are back. Like the Shamrock Shake, we back. <sighs> you know, the Shamrock Shake is is not is honestly not that good. Like herpes that you contracted at 1996 Freaknik Pe- uh, Festival. Yes, ma'am. We are back. We are back. For those of y'all who don't know who that is, ask your mama because I'm pretty sure. That's, ask that's yeah, because I'm pretty sure she probably. Picked him up on the ski resort. Right yep, there. pretty sure. Pretty sure. But yeah, well, sorry about that. I muted myself. Terrible. Yeah, but welcome, guys. <laughs> welcome back. <laughs> welcome to the back Ted and Ed show. To the Ted and Ed ble- in the bed, <coughs> not together. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm. In the mm. you know on the tread mill because mm-hmm. I'm counting deals, signing deals. Oh. And sm- smoke and kill. There it is. Smoke you just rhyme. Kill. You rhyme. You rhyme words all the while, feeling so trill. Trill. There it is. True and you real. Know. That's the uh, amalgamation of that. But yes, welcome back. We out here. We live. Thank y'all for tuning in live on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash Dead Nemesis or Twitch.tv slash The Ted Most B M O S B E E in this motherfucker. Mm-hmm. You know, we just we just out here living life. Yeah. Out here living life, you know, enjoying ourselves, just mm-hmm. taking taking advantage of being alive, you know? That's that's what I'm on this week. I don't know that's about y'all. Goal. That is the goal. That's the Stretch goal. Stretch this life out as long as possible. Yeah. And take advantage of it while you still got it. Yeah, take Cause advantage you're not, of it. Because you're not gonna have it for you know, forever. Things go by so quick. Like I'm thirty and I s- Still, and get to hit Hayden Panettiere yet? Damn, thirty. I think she lived. Yeah, I think she lived in Russia now. Thirty years of age. <sighs> and I still don't get to have sex with that woman. <laughs> how how does that feel, Edward? That you are a thirty year old male out here living? Well, I'm. I have the perfect. Got the perfect explanation for it. Mm-hmm. As always, like I've always said before to other people. Mm-hmm. Being 30, uh, how I feel in my 30s is I feel like I'm 20, but I have money. Yeah. 20, but I got money. I ain't got no, my car is paid off. Mm. Got my own place. Mm. Streaming, doing pretty well. I mean. Leveled up on the job since I I was, what, 20? Oh, I I really leveled up. I, I Sure, I went from seven dollars and ten cents an hour to uh, what what God has blessed me with now. That, that, yes, that's ma'am. What, yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's, yes, that's what I'm gonna say. Yeah. With two mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. Um, yeah, I feel like I'm 
in my twenties just with money. Yeah. It's it's fun. Honestly, it's super fun. Well, I'm glad to hear that, Edward. I'm glad to hear mm-hmm. that because you know, like I said, this week we just mm-hmm. you know taking it week by week, but we want to just talk to about just about life and shit and what's been going on and you know just us how yeah. we feel. Sometimes you got to take a, a not a mental break, but you know, a mental almost check in with one another. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. See how they really how you really doing down in the deep, mm-hmm. down in the dirty. Yeah. But before we get into that, mm-hmm. we got other shit to do. So let's talk about this new shit coming out, okay? We got yeah. to get to the facts, the R and B facts, the hip hop mm-hmm. facts, the mm-hmm. music facts. Yeah. Okay. What's what okay. what's been going on in the world of music before we get in all this shit? Okay. So so first, this this we might all right, forewarning, we might be on music for a moment today. Okay. Oh shit. Here we go. Because I'm gonna just take it there. Take it. Uh, I need to talk to Timbaland and Swiss Beats. You need to talk to him? I need to talk to Timbaland and Swiss Beats. He's... I know it. We're supporting our black kings and queens mm-hmm. with the verses. I, I get it. The Eve and Trina, the uh, what was Isley Brothers and Earth, Wind, and Fire. Yep. And my all time favorite, Rick Ross and Two Chains. That yep. was the most live, entertaining, entertaining verses to date, in my opinion. But. Now that they, you know, they sold it to Thriller mm-hmm. or to Triller. Uh, I wonder why they call it that. <laughs> Not but, Thriller. Yeah, yeah. They probably I always hate when, they, when we call them Thriller. <laughs> no, it's Triller. Like, like, like ah. shit, y'all, y'all the one that named it that. Hmm. Oh, one of the Paul brothers, they gonna fight at Thriller. Okay, cool. <laughs> Chocolate Thunder Michael said, uh, "You're a boomer." <laughs> 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 okay, boomer. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Whatever you say, boomer. Sure. But uh. <laughs> Here's my thing. We're mm-hmm. branching out. I know we got to branch out. We got to show love. It isn't just our black kings and queens and black excellence yeah. that has good music. There's some white excellence out there. There's some brown excellence out there. Mm-hmm. All of that. <sighs> so we need to get Justin Bieber. And <laughs> JB on the track. Uh, Justin Bieber and Mr. Justin Timberlake. I would like to see you guys to the front, please. Uh, we we got to have a battle of this RNJ B. Or R and J T, you know. Mm. Let's see who who's the better Justin. Let's who see. has the better catalog? You know, I've been I've been bouncing back and forth between the been Justin, back and forth. just the beams or the T, the timber. Mm-hmm. Yep. I might have to. I might have to agree. Mm, I might have to agree with Dion on this because he just said that mm-hmm. Bieber got more hits. Be- Bieber versus Chris Brown. Chris Brown will watch that man. Yes. Chris Brown yes, will wash him. Chris yeah. Brown got hits on top of hit. He got hits that haven't come out yet. Chris Brown is a man. I think y'all. I think y'all sleeping on Timberlake. You sleep. I think Bieber. I think Bieber might have. Might got. Might I got think, him. I think y'all sleeping. I think it, it's gonna be a close. I think it'll be a 10, 11 split. 11, 9 split. That's what Justin. Justin's the, that first album is fire bangers. Justified that de- debut well, exactly is yeah. bangers. It's nothing but, but Cry Me a River. It's, it's crazy. He, he can shut the club down with Cry Me a River. It can go on just, but <laughs> hmm, fucking, but after that first album and then what we got like sexy back. Uh, future love sex sounds. Yeah, that's the no. Album. I think future love sex sounds was the was that the debut album for him? No, just was, was. His, okay. And his second one was yeah, future, future love, love sex yeah. sounds. Yeah, and um, whatever, it's future love and future sex. <laughs> but yeah, um, that 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 right there. But yeah, that one had you know sexy back mm-hmm. and um, 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 what goes around comes around. Mm. Um, what else did it was on that album? I mean, I can pull it up now. Real quick. Now that I think about it. Justin Bieber might actually just win with purpose and journals. Yeah, Justin Bieber put on an album, push play. Just, well, <laughs> he can put on two albums and push play. I can't say anything else about his other music, but two albums and push play, and then oh, I win. I feel you. I feel you. That's but what's up. I mean, it's just for. Ju- I need for to see t- it. Yeah, I need. I need to see it. My, the white boy versus. I need to mm-hmm. see it. I need to see this. I need them niggas to be mm, be trying to pop. Like, <laughs> <laughs> be trying to do all that shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. But you know, 
Other well, than let me that, talk to you. That song with "Let Me Talk to You" is fire with Ti. Oh, my love, love, I love it. My love, love. Boom. And then okay, then you get to the next album. I think that's twenty twenty experience, and that's suit and tie. Ah, uh, suit and tie was cool. Tie. I like that song. Man of the Woods or Man in the Woods was. Uh, I don't know about all that. I think that's where he fell right there. That's, yeah, that's, where he fell. that's garbage. <laughs> Yeah, gotta buy. I mean, he don't even had that many albums. If you think about it, it's just yeah. I, I'm retracting my statement. Justify future future sex love sounds, and then it goes to then he doesn't make, make another album in seven years. 2020 experience. Mm. Then another five years, he makes Man of the Woods. Mm. Mm. <sighs> yeah, never mind. Never yeah, mind. JT. That's a. I'm gonna have to go with JB. It's an R and JB. Yeah, if it was, you know, yeah. when he mm. he was hot. When Justify was out, two thousand like what is that mm-hmm. two? That shit mm-hmm. was fire. He was hot. He was running the game, but yeah, I don't know. That's I don't true. know about now. <laughs> I think. But well, other other than that one, um, mm-hmm. other than that particular music topic, mm-hmm. whew, I've been listening to a lot of uh, it's Rebel, mean? Rebel, Rumble. He he's some new rapper that done came up. R e m e l, R e m b l e. Oh, a rimble. Oh. Yeah, rimble. Mm, okay. Like he's the one. He you know he got he got a he has fun bars. They don't all connect. Some mm-hmm. of one of them is reaching, but mm-hmm. I I like the I like the description that he's putting in my head. Mm-hmm. You know, like he starts off a song. Are you willing to die for those Christians? Oh, oh, that guy. Yeah, that's the guy right there. Just, um, what was it? Are you willing to die for those Christians? Do you really think? Do you really feel fly in true religions? Did you think you survived five five sixes? You spent the ban on a burner and died with it. Mm. Shawn Michaels at parties, I'm high kicking. Mm-hmm. Terrible. I didn't even want to go no further than that. Really, <laughs> Shawn Michaels at parties, I'm high kicking. Yeah, that's just. The- that image brought me back to when Sean was backstage mm. kicking little girls and key grips and yeah. salad and paperwork yeah. is flying everywhere. Yeah, when Sean Michaels and, is the goat. Yeah. And that 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 was that was fun. I enjoyed that time. Um so right now it's just that song. I'm gonna look more into them, but I play that song at least eight times a day. Uh Coaches, very great anime rapper. Mm. That man, if you listen to his lyrics, it'll make you want to uh, go watch some other animes, Ushio and Tora mm-hmm. and shit, some Yu Yu Hakusho, some One Piece. I didn't uh, know Yu Yu Hakusho like came out so long ago, like it came on the nineties. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Wow, I didn't know that. That yeah, and that that's uh, that's like one of the few animes that cannot be made in twenty twenty one. Yeah, I thought it that, was an anime that was like on during Dragon Ball Z or some shit. I don't know what. I don't know why, but a little before, yeah. Because I think Dragon Ball came out ninety six. Damn. When did it come to Dragon. America? Was it ninety six? It came here or ninety nine? Mm. It's like ninety six, and it might have came here in ninety nine. Don't quote like me on was, that, though. It was like peaking, like two thousand four, two thousand five. Oh yeah, because now we're dealing. Everybody yeah, we're dealing with it. Frieza and shit. Yeah. You know, because in the beginning, you're just watching uh, Goku mm. grow up. And, you know, then you see Dragon Ball Z, and it's like he's a grown man, and he got a he got a kid. Uh, mm-hmm. Dragon Ball Z again. I guess Kai, if you want to talk about that, going into the, the, what's the name, the Mecha Frieza, the Trunk Saga, the Cell Saga, and the boo saga and shit mm-hmm. and then you got super and all that and then you have gt which is entertaining i don't know why people shit on that damn anime so much yeah. it's not canon but it's fun the uh, canon <laughs> <laughs> it's not canon <laughs> canon <laughs> but uh oh shit uh mm-hmm. if you think about it though boma older than goku Chocolate she was a teenager. GT is canon. Nah, it's no. not canon. Damn, it's not canon. It's not canon. 
It's not canon. Bro. It's not canon. Apparently, yeah, not, not the camera. Look more, uh, more Nikon. Yeah. All yeah, right, that's my right. dad joke for today. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers there we out go. there. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Shout out to all the fathers. Shout it's out not to Canon. Them. It's Panasonic. <laughs> okay, stop playing. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Stop playing. <laughs> oh God. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Tell but, your mama to stop buying oat milk because I don't like that. I don't, I don't like it that shit. It's too thick. Yeah. That's Damn. my dad joke right there. Brought to you by Ted. Yeah. Tell your mom to stop buying two percent. I'm trying to, you know. I need that whole <laughs> milk for this whole, you know, <laughs> I need the whole milk. <laughs> shit. Uh, shit. Other than that, like, really, I've just been going back to older things. Uh, ASAP Rocky. Oh. I was listening to um, Testing, that album. Mm. And honestly, right now, my favorite song on there is Fuck Sleep featuring uh, FKA Twigs. Yeah, that's the hit. I don't fuck with the other songs right now, but just yeah, that's the hit. The one with Skepta is the hit too. Mm, I'm gonna check it out. Check it out, but no, right sick, now just no. fuck sleep. Mm, okay. uh, <laughs> Let's see what else I got on my recents. Uh oh, mm-hmm. I'm a, I'm gonna top it with this. I'm gonna top it with this. Top it for, for those who like watching. You know who who like listening to rock. All forms of rock, any form of rock. Mm-hmm. I've been listening to some of the top five, one of the top five bands in existence. Mm. Okay. 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 They are a pair more. Oh, oh no, you're talking about the top two. You're talking about the top two. Mm. I thought you mm. I thought you were talking about, you know, like a Led Zeppelin. Oh. You can be like, oh yeah, top five. Yeah, yeah. No, but you're talking about like don't... top three. Yeah, got you. <laughs> I still don't understand how Stairway to Heaven is like considered the greatest rock song of all time. I mean, Misery Business is right there. They uh, still like, record, how, you know. how is Stairway to Heaven <laughs> in the majority's minds as the greatest when there's pressure? There's pressure, yeah. Emergency. Emergency. Stop playing. Here we go again. It's all I wanted. All I wanted. Is that on that album? No, that's not on that album. Uh no, that was uh Riot, I believe. God, that song is fucking beautiful. I I've cried to that song so many They times. don't miss. <laughs> they don't miss. They don't fucking miss. They don't fucking miss. Yeah, I mean, you. if I start listening to Paramore again, it's over for you niggas. Let's just say that. <laughs> <laughs> it's over for you niggas. <laughs> it's over for all rappers. I don't need to listen to no rap at all. I don't she need, need to get if she was to get like uh what's the name? This just to make sure that she's protected. If she was the, or if someone black had control of the Paramore Twitter account, mm-hmm. they needed to be like, hey, we back in the stew. Right. Don't let us stay here longer than a day because it's going to be over. For it's going to be it's, over. The, po- the it hit's going to be over. flying off the paper. Mm-hmm. It's it's done. We're it, whew, This strum that we about to work on, fuck <laughs> yo Gibson. You know, fuck that. I'm about to. You ain't ready. Y'all ain't ready. Yeah, I've been listening to some rock too. Mm-hmm. A little bit, really. Yeah. Um, really, that MGK album because I missed it last year. Mm-hmm. Uh, t- but tickets to my downfall, the, the album, it's actually Ooh. really, really good. It's a really nice. He transitioned from you know his rap career was not going nowhere, but he trans. I mean, I, he can do that as a white man. Uh, he transitioned yeah. straight into rock, and it's really, mm-hmm. really. This is probably his most successful album. Is this uh, mm. last album? <laughs> Yeah, tickets to my downfall is fire, and I love when, like I said the other day, I love when artists they take the album and then they film a whole thing for the album because I was watching it on um on YouTube. Oh, so they, my- you know, he just played the whole album and had like a uh, it was like a had a story told like for the album, you know, and it all mm-hmm. makes sense too. Okay. Yeah, that shit's I'm good. Check that out. I'm yeah. definitely going to check that out. So yeah, MGK definitely. Um, he transitioned right into that, and really, he did it really well. He had the same, you know, he had that look. Mm-hmm. He had the tattoos and rocker guy, punk guy, you know. Sure. So it was Doesn't easy. Doesn't he have like a Route sixty six on? I his think shoulder. So. He's from Cleveland. Oh, I, mean, I remember that. You don't remember him saying Cleve like Cleveland all the time. He did yeah, some Cleveland I, remix for something. I don't know. Oh shit! Cleveland versus everybody. Surprise. <laughs> Probably, I bet you didn't. I bet you ten thousand percent. 
Busy Bone versus everybody. Basically. Yeah, and uh, who's a uh, 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 trippy red? He's from Cleveland. He's from Cleveland. Yep, Bow Wow, Cleveland. Oh yeah, that's true. That but true. that's the and then LeBron James. Well, he's from Akron, but <laughs> I don't know he's anybody else. I don't know anybody else from Cleveland. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shit. Ah, oh, Mr. Zane Cos, thank you for tuning in, bro. You have a great night. Uh, shit. I didn't know Bow Wow was from Cleveland. Oh, Bow Wow, Cincinnati? Sheesh. Oh. There's beef. There's beef. There's beef. There we go. There we go. Got to kill him. There's beef. I remember it because the only reason why I know is because Trippy Red and Bow Wow was the beef and like, who's the best out of Ohio? And I'm like, damn, y'all was going up between Bow Wow and Trippy Red? <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. Is that is that something people should care about? I, that's that's what not, I not saw. To sh- not to shit on them. I'm just saying, if we're talking rap and hip hop, if we're talking rap music, whatever. California, the New York area, the South, particularly Georgia, but now Tennessee and Texas mm-hmm. are like your hot spots for rappers. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, and Florida, because you know Florida got Rick Ross, if I'm not mistaken. Apparently, or, no. now Canada. Shit. Can't forget Canada can't now. Can't forget Canada. about Aubrey. Can't forget about uh yeah. well weekend transcends music, so um can't forget about Justin Bieber. Yeah, J B, Tory Lanes. Tory Lanes. Speaking of which, did you see that tweet oh, that happened? That's a, that's a great little what, was that you that I learned that from? I don't know what the hell is wow, going man. on with Mr. Lanes and <sighs> Mr. Baby and uh Mrs. D Stallion. And, just, and apparently partisan Fontaine. <laughs> I don't know. I just it's just too much. I don't know why we still talking about Tory Lanes and Meg getting shot. You know, Tory shooting Meg. You know, wasn't that what is that two years ago now? It was. I feel or, like it was about a year ago. But a year ago, I got you. If you didn't know, basically, so this new as y'all already know, probably Tory Lanes and Meg The Stallion. Mm-hmm. They had previous beef, Tory. Allegedly shot Meg, you know, blah, blah, blah. Recently, uh, rapper, Charlotte rapper Da Baby uh, recently did a song with Tory Lanez called Scat. Now, mm. that apparently that already rubbed Meg the wrong way. But what had happened was the mm-hmm. baby retweeted a tweet that said something like, um, like it was oh, like the baby yeah. and Tory Lanez, the only people that shoot somebody and not get you know put in jail. No, uh, yeah, they had jail time. Yeah, it didn't yeah, and, and uh, do no jail time. Mm. So basically, and but he tweeted it, he retweeted it, and then I think he deleted it. But it, once he retweeted yeah. it, it, got fired from everybody. Meg mm. saw it. Meg mm. was like, "Oh, nigga, you! I was talking to you backstage when we did the fucking song." Niggas is corny this, niggas is corny that, you know, whatever. And and then the baby had something to say. Like I he just funny. But he's just talking about like, you know, I said this and mm-hmm. I you know, I didn't really, you know, it's not even my business to begin with to even try mm-hmm. and do. But I think Meg trying, you know, get in the middle of that. But I think Meg said something like, you know, you even said to me backstage that, you know, you wouldn't even want to promote with him or something like that because of, you know, what he did basically. And Damn. then the baby, the baby rebuttaled by saying <clears throat> that she, he already, that's what he told directly to the Tory. They already had yeah. a conversation, blah, blah, blah. And then they go yeah. make a song together. But I, I don't know. I, I mean, mean, I don't, listen. first of all, I don't really care. I'm tired. Of, I'm tired of hearing about it. And then yeah. the partisan Fontaine, which is Megan, the stallions current mm-hmm. boyfriend, Got mm-hmm. into it with with rapper the baby. <laughs> it's 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 terrible. I mean, see, this is uh okay. So I, I feel like nobody's in the wrong by the general consensus of how yeah musicians work together. Yeah, uh, I just feel like Megan felt a type of way mm-hmm. after the baby tweeted that. I would feel too. You, you're absolutely right. Yeah, I'll feel um, the type of way too. Uh, and if I'm not mistaken, she said something about industry niggas are just ain't shit. Yeah. And I felt like that was a bit hypocritical because mm. you ain't dated nothing but industry niggas. Mm. You're currently dating an industry nigga. Um, 
you know, granted he's not at the top, but he had a I forgot the song, but he had one with uh like G Easy. Yeah, and um, but he's a writer mostly. Like a, yeah. He wrote up yeah, so some just, stuff for Cardi B and stuff. Yeah, so it's just like, bro, you like like Meg, I get it, but why why are you mad at the baby? Why are y'all mad like you know how many people have done some shit that's fucked up, but mm-hmm. people still work with them? Yeah. JB that that video, one less lonely nigger is still going around. <laughs> but what I, I saw P Diddy hugging him when he flew when he came out here to that's, LA. That's terrible. Migos were working with him. That's terrible. Uh weekends were uh Giveon and Daniel Caesar's working with him. It, it's so there's no apparently there's no problem there. I get it. He's still learning and all that. Cool. Yeah, whatever. Um mm-hmm. then he do the dread thing. Yeah, that he, was that's and it's and like Bieber y'all still are... showing him love. Yeah, it's it's weird. It's like, and then Floyd Mayweather. Hey, this goes beyond music, by the way. Mm-hmm. He beat his wife. Oh, People yeah. still fuck with him. Personally, yeah. he helped pay my rent because the man doesn't lose. Mm-hmm. You bet against Floyd Mayweather, then you must have money to give me because I'm taking my money because yeah. that should pay my rent all those years ago. Mm-hmm. But what I'm trying to say is when it comes to money, none of that matters. Yeah. And you being in the industry, I know you feel a type of way. But now this is this is a business. I'm I'm trying to get my money. Yeah. Like I don't think the baby had any harsh intentions. Mm-hmm. Just like, you know, I'm sorry, Meg. I'm trying to get my money. Really? I don't think he had harsh intentions either. I don't think you should mm-hmm. be barring people from, you know, working with one another. I think his mm-hmm. really the problem was him retweeting that tweet. And I think he knew he was mm-hmm. wrong because he took it down, you know? Yeah. I think oh, that because that's kind of what started it all. Gotcha, gotcha. I okay. okay. But yeah, I do she might still feel the type of way that he still went on and worked with him. But I mean, that's not that's not what I I mean I wouldn't be feeling be mad at the tweet, but you worked with Nicki Minaj and Cardi B. Mm. There was beef, yeah. We would side you know. There, there, yeah, there's beef. Yeah. What, what, what's going on? Like, be mad at the tweet now that you brought that up. I was overlooking that tweet. Yeah. Be mad at the fact he tweeted, retweeted that. But don't get mad at the fact he working with somebody. Yeah. So yeah, it's just it's just more you know? celebrity bullshit that we just that you know yeah. we just gotta deal with sometimes. And then honestly, just you look at it, you'd be like, I don't why am I looking at this? Fuck this. Yeah. It's bullshit. Yeah. But I mean, they all got, they all at the top of their powers. They're doing their things. You know, Meg yeah. got that shit coming out. I mean, out, <laughs> which is a nice video. Love the video. It's a great, I'm going to be honest. I like the video. Mm-hmm. But I like those just more. Yes. Period. Meg has more ass and all that and yeah. things I like being shown in her video. Yeah. But Doja is giving me what I want. Doja, Doja Cat is Jesus Christ. She's doing everything right now, bro. Yes. I mean, I, I from can. the videos to the to just the bars, and then the music, and then she does the she this new song. She goes from pop to rap in the song. Yes, she. Oh my God, niggas wishing that the pussy was a kissing booth. Take booth. Mm-hmm. Takes breakfast, lunch, and gin and juice. What are mm-hmm. you talking about? And then you just go back to singing Kiss Me Boy. Yeah. Well, that's oh. not even a song I'm talking about. I'm talking about the newer song. What? Uh, Need to Know? Need to, yeah, where she's like a green alien. Yeah. I mean, she's just doing it I heard it all. from a friend of a friend that that dick there yeah, was, it was a, a 10, 10 out of 10. 10. Yeah. Yeah. That, she, she giving me what I need. She's giving me the quirkiness. She's giving me the bar. From she's the, giving me great references. Yeah. I mean, she's a whole package as far as a yes. performer. You know, a performer, mm-hmm. a good singer. A guy, I mean, I guess she kind of sings. Mm-hmm. Rapper. She does well rapping. She give you good visuals. Excuse me. Visuals yes. with music videos and all that. Uh-huh. So it's just, I don't know, complete package. True. I mean, there's nothing bad I can say about Doja right now. I mean, I guess... Whatever she had, her niggas trying to cancel her because of whatever happened back in the day. Yeah, with she the, said the N word with the hard R. Um, yeah, I mean she's a, a, like a zoom. I don't even know why I'm not saying it because I just said that word like ref, uh, referring to something else. Oh, did you, for JB, yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. know why I'm now. I guess I'm trying to be <laughs> politically correct because yeah. I don't like saying the word too. I was just trying to let y'all know which one he said. Which yeah, you gotta let but, him know. You gotta let him know. Yeah. Rich so, folk I mean, problems are the same as regular folks. They just got more eyes on them. That's true. Yeah, that's true. That's true. But rich folk problem, like 
they have still have the same regular folk problems, and then rich folk problems do have some specific, you know, they have some different well. ones. Yeah, why is my accountant not taking care of my taxes? Exactly. Yeah, <sighs> y'all need y'all accountants to be in order. I wonder if the Kardashians got like mob ties and they threaten their accountant to get that shit right every time the first time. <laughs> They don't, I don't think they got no damn mob ties. They got the I feel least. like they got mob ties. I feel like there's. I mean, if Calabasas, mob, yeah. Yeah, they if if Calabasas is the mob, they run the fucking they fucking John Gotti. Uh, yeah, they I run mean Calabasas. I mean, they 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 probably know <laughs> Pooh and Big Thirty. You know, Pooh, not Pooh and Big Thirty. I live where you. I I live where a place you can't spell out. Some <laughs> shit like that. <laughs> he had some bar like that. He talked about Calabasas. Yeah, I live where you can't spell it out. It's terrible. That's so, absolutely terrible. Oh, uh, that that is going to be that's interesting. I can't wait till I hear today that Barbara Walters and Meryl Streep live next door to like Lil Uzi Vert mm-hmm. and Lil Dirk and Lil Dirk, <laughs> two Lils on each side, uh, on each side, and Helen Mirren is in the middle, <laughs> <laughs> and they both got that like twenty million dollar mansions each. I bet you mm-hmm. it's like that. It's like that somewhere. It's got to be. Yeah. yeah, it's it's definitely got to be. Mm-hmm. That's dope. But That is hella dope. But you already said my boy's name. You know, we got a free shiesty, man. We got to we gotta, gotta make t-shirts, man. You heard you heard the news? Have you heard what happened? What? The the witness, the victim, the shooting victim that uh stated that it was Pooh Shiesty that yeah. shot him recanted his statement. Yeah. Then he was on a lot of opioids and stuff, and he wasn't even sure if it was Pooh Shiesty. He don't remember what happened. Yeah, he doesn't even remember telling the the cops that. Mm-hmm. He's like, I was on a lot of drugs that night. First so of all, Pooh probably shot. Pooh probably got him niggas, some niggas to shoot his like kids or something. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Second, That's what exactly what I was thinking. Yeah. I was like, oh, they own this nigga neck right yeah. now. That's they, what it is. They had they was like outside his kids, you know, school or something school. like that. Mm-hmm. And, and he, he we can't see his statement quick, or yeah. they gave him some money. He gave him a lot of money. Mm-hmm. That's either because what recanted and statement you you forgot you got shot. Yeah, you didn't know what happened that night. You knew it was sudden, you forgot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but that's not even the really the because re- yeah he recanted his statement so them charges dropped. But that's not even the reason why he's still in fucking jail, bro. <laughs> My boy is in jail. They got him <laughs> hemmed up by the feds. Uh, it's federal. I, I mean, I'm gonna be honest with you though, Ted. I've said it before. These yeah. niggas, they they, they got to stop. They got, that's, and that's a you know prime example too. You got to stop putting you your crimes stop. in the bars, or you're gonna be behind the bar. Yeah, exactly. You're yeah. really gonna be behind that bar. Yeah, your crimes is you know that's not good. That's not good. But man, you know? we got a we got a free shiesty, man. We got free shiesty. For the, you know, see for the murder culture. behind bars. Who in federal jail? Mm-hmm. Mm. He going far like a general mail. Mm. Mm, right there. On, now, now you're really behind the bars. I Come mean, on, federal, we talking about the federal charges. Pooh, Pooh Shiesty, ESTG, Benny the Butcher. Benny, you really got to stop because you you don't even have subliminals, bro. You <laughs> really got to yeah, stop. He said, like, yeah, he was. Yeah, like, you got to stop. You were. I, I believe you, man. Yeah, I believe you are really about that life. Everybody else might be capping or paying off some people to make it. See- you really got you really about that. Yeah, he you, run, he run like, Buffalo, New York. Yeah, like bro, like stop, please stop. Because <laughs> you got bars. Nigga. I don't like seeing people with these bars. Then it's like they're living their bars till this day. Yeah, like, yeah. Nah, you can stop. Yeah, because really- because the, the, it's like with Pooh Shiesty specifically. Mm-hmm. There was a video of him, you know, hopping out with with Clarens and Maybox and Mercedes Benz, <laughs> with the gat, and they out here, blah, 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 they shooting, they shooting niggas, and McLaren's somebody got shot, somebody almost again. died. Like, yeah. why, why are we shooting when hop in the McLaren, <sighs> and you, you know, mm-hmm. hop out the McLaren, hit the Glizzy, then hop in the Maybach or something like that? I get that mm-hmm. for the rap perspective of it, like you rapping, and that's a nice bar. But in yeah. real life, you just sacrifice your mama's house. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. your mama can't pay that that mortgage that you put her in. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Hopefully you paid it off. Yep. You probably bought your cousin a nice little range or something. Hopefully exactly. that's the shit. That's the shit I'm worried about. 
And then, Poo, uh, and then yeah. this money for Pooh is coming in. Mm-hmm. I mean, the back and blood is big still, but yeah. and you know, but he got performances that he's missing, and he's missing some money like that. It's just, oh, you missing a lot of money because apparently the, the performance and tours is where you make your money. Yeah, that's where you make you. That's where you make your money. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So it's just it's all of that is at risk, and it's not it's not really like he can leave it behind or like I don't know. Maybe you ain't got to leave it. Deep. I mean, you yeah, you can be in too deep, but you got to focus on think, something else. Yeah, now you can um shit, pay other people to do that shit, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. I don't advocate for violence, but you know, one of my favorite rappers, you know, he he came from a, a very troubled neighborhood and all that. He ain't about that life no more, but don't I don't ever not think that like he doesn't have people around him that are about that life. Yeah. I ain't about to say his name, but it's just you you came from that life. You don't have to do that no more. Like, 21 Savage, it. perfect example. Yeah. 21 ain't doing nothing. He mm-hmm. ain't doing but he could. He could. Mm-hmm. Or he probably got someone that could. But he ain't doing nothing. Yeah. I'm but executive just, producing this Saw album. They just pay me millions for it. Yeah, exactly. That's on this trash ass film. Yeah, on this trash you know? ass movie. <laughs> yeah, this is this is um this is my life. I, I gotta, gotta check watch the that. movie. I just got the check. Yeah, Mortal Kombat paid me, and now Saul paying me. Yeah, look so, at this. This is crazy. This, this is crazy. Is, <sighs> it's opportunity missed, really. Him being yeah. millionaire is opportunity missed, and money just going down a drain. Yeah, and people still gonna want their money. Hmm. I also hope that uh, by this day and age, uh, I really don't want to hear about any rapper saying that they got done wrong in their in their contracts. Yeah, because they chose Lil Uzi Vert should have been the should be the last person I heard that got fucked over mm-hmm. by who was it Don Cannon in drama. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, that 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 should be the last person. And that was like twenty seventeen, and you know, I mean, that's Jay-Z. Jack Harlow's people, right? Isn't Jack Harlow signed to Cannon? I mm-hmm. think he signed a canon in drama. Drama, yeah. So it's I don't want I don't want to hear it. I don't, we've yeah, already should, got the history. There's a lot you of education and yeah, a lot of history. So you should know now. You know, know better. Mm-hmm. And yeah. Then to get involved in certain con- contracts. I don't, yeah, exactly. I don't want to hear it no more. Now I'm just start blaming y'all. Hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna start blaming y'all. I'm gonna just start. I'm gonna, that. That's your fault. Because on the on the fan side, I, I used to feel for them. Yeah. And then P. Diddy once said some shit. He was like, this is business. I ain't mm-hmm. like, you know, why didn't you read it? Yeah. That, that's why. I, I'm, yeah, we're negotiating. You should have read your contract. Like, that. that's not my fault. So this. Whew. Shout out to Ice Cube. He, he's probably the first one that did it right. Ice Cube. <laughs> On a, yeah. Getting the entertainment lawyer to read his uh, shit. Cause you know that that's why they broke up. Ice Cube just saying that he wasn't with that, and rightfully so. I don't care what y'all say. Ice Cube was N.W.A. All them lyrics y'all heard. That's N.W.A. That that's Ice Cube. Yeah. I but mean, you know, let's let's move on into some other shit. Let's move on to some other celebrity drama. Some or not even. Not even ahead. that. Not even drama, Ted. Mm-hmm. I got some things here. That's These are just, hit me with it. Yeah, you hit me. You, woo, okay. hit me. So first of all, now we're in this new age of uh, I, I don't know why, but Heath Ledger just came into my mind as the Joker. <laughs> <laughs> Never on. start with the head. The victim gets all. The witness gets all fuzzy. <laughs> he goes wow. See what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> um. Okay. So we're in a new age where. These kids are like celebrities now. Children. Yes. I'm going to put up some examples. Mm -hmm. This boxing event, the TikTokers versus the YouTubers. Mm -hmm. Kids. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. The fact that they garnered that much attention. Yeah. Had DJ Khaled opening it up. I know. All of this shit. Like, what what the fuck is going on? I think it was a pay-per-view. I'm not too sure. Yeah, it was a pay-per-view. Yeah, that's... I'm very curious to see where this is all going to go. It's going to go. Yeah, um, it's going to go somewhere. And yeah. the rappers need to do it too, like I said last week. Yep. Matter of fact, there's a It'll be bigger. Ah, fuck. There's a guy that was uh talking about that too. Um it's it's Charlemagne and somebody else. I forgot the dude's name, 
But he was like, y'all rappers be having so much beef. Y'all need to fight. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Y'all really need to fight. Maybe. I think, yeah, I think a lot of them won't fight because they really ain't got hands like how they say they do. They got guns, but uh, I think a lot of these rappers really ain't got hands. Um, baby on I'm, I'm baby, just, baby the main event. That's it. Baby on baby. Baby on baby. Lil Baby versus so, the baby. Main mm-hmm. event. And then you can have like Mulatto versus Rini Rucci, you know, at the bottom. Exactly. And like, you know, <laughs> fucking. Uh, he said Rini Rucci. <laughs> <laughs> they got beef. Apparently they got beef. There's beef. going to have <laughs> <laughs> JT versus Flo Millie. Ooh. Ah. <sighs> JT Cardi. JT probably come through, but Flo Millie might, might whoop her ass, Loki. Yeah, I don't girls, know who to go for. Skinny that. girls can move fast, move them hands fast. They can. And they be, ooh, the way they just, they dislocate their elbow. Like when they got the hair and they just, and it's just, it's like a windmill. And I'm like, what the fuck is this? Yeah, they, they minking. She got a whole, they minking out of here. <laughs> She got a the trees are in the streets. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'm sorry, Andrew. CJ Go ahead. and CJ versus like Bad Bunny, not Bad Bunny. Mm, <laughs> Bad Bunny got a headline he, something. Apparently, he's a uh, he got problems with people. Oh, CJ. Uh, no, nah, Bad Bunny. Oh, not too sure, but I hear there's some of uh, uh, the other Latin artists that don't like him. Whoa, because he taking the modern money. I think that's what it is. He's taking as all that far money. as I know, Jay Balvin is the one that like got no problems with this man. Yeah, because he's um, making he's taking all the money. He's taking the other half of the money too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's taking the other half. Shit, yeah, <laughs> you get half, I get half. <laughs> he's the love. I'm the concierge right there. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, they they not fucking with him. But um, shit, he the shit. Yeah, I like it. It's double B, bad buddy. Yeah, that, that's what this is. Um. What else is going on? So, oh, okay. So back to it. Mm-hmm. So I say that this TikToker and shit, TikToker versus YouTube fighting match is like, it's really starting to show how famous these people are. Oh, yeah. Um, And I've like, there's been some changes in the world. Yeah. So I, I want to talk about one of them. I want your opinions on this too, Ted, because mm-hmm. it's sports related. Mm-hmm. I don't know this man, but apparently he's known as the greatest basketball player ever. Uh, Mr. LeBron James. LeBron James. Uh, straight out of Akron, uh, greatest, Ohio. Greatest ever. Uh, still, it's still debatable. But it's, what, is, what is that shit that uh, Shannon Sharp used to say? Say Sharp. Like Boeing September fifteenth at three pounds eight ounces out of Akron, Ohio. <laughs> General Mercy Hospital. We got love. <laughs> I was like, oh no, you know the nigga's he, birthday? Yeah, like, you know the hospital room and everything. You know the hospital, all that. He's like, yeah, I met the doctors too. I was like, y'all done a great service to this world. <laughs> Uh, uh, that was precious cargo. Y'all made sure to maintain that maintain. good shit. And now come on down to Club Shay Shay where we do something for two something. <laughs> um, so anyway, this is let, let me tell you about this. Ted. Let me tell you about this. Mm-hmm. Okay, let me show you how how much times have changed and how this word fame and celebrity can like really shift towards different people. Okay. Okay. LeBron James was. One of the youngest people, I, if I'm not mistaken, he was the, I'm going to just say one of the youngest people to ever get a Sports Illustrated cover at 17 years old. Mm-hmm. That sounds right. His son, Bronny James, mm-hmm. beat him by getting Sports Illustrated at 16 years old. Mm, for and then, no, Yeah. And then we're going we gonna to go a, a step further. Wait, what'd you say? It was for FaZe, right? Like the he was on the Sports Illustrated cover with FaZe clan. That's yep, and that was the next thing. Mm. FaZe is on Sports Illustrated. Yeah. This shit is amazing. I yeah, love it. That's crazy. I really love it. I mean they have uh it's really like, controversial tweets though. Who? Because um FaZe clan. Because um there's you know, there's gonna be haters. Yeah. But they're saying excuse me, they're saying things like that's that's not a, a sport. Why are they on here? Oh yeah. Why is that logo there? This is not. This is not a, a entertaining thing. Where, yeah. Where's the athleticism? Well, the so, reason. Go I ahead, think, speak on that, Ted. I think the reason why that they're on Sports Illustrated because if you look at the cover, the first three people are sports people. That's Kyle. That's Kyler Murray, 
That's Bronny mm-hmm. James, and I can't remember the other guy. But Phase is um, uh, Phase has has them under contract, so they're part of Phase. So they have you know Kyler and Bronny. Yeah, Kyler Murray and Bronny James. They're all a part of Phase. So um, that's really like they're you know kind of the reason why they're on. I think that's what mm-hmm. they was focusing on. But yeah, yeah I mean e- e- esport is a sport. It's a, uh, it's a sport, but they're not athletes. <laughs> it's a sport, but yeah. they're not athletes. But mm-hmm. yeah, that them is all. Um, them is With all that logic, can we also say that they're at least at the level of NASCAR drivers? Maybe. Because NASCAR driving do require a little bit more physical something, you know? It? It's hard to drive a fucking car in 300 mi- laps uh, in a left turn all the time. You gotta hold it, whip it, and make sure it stay like that. I mean, you got to kill these niggas too. With like, you only got eighty-two FPS. That, yeah. that, you know, that's hard too. You got to anticipate when the lag gonna come in. Yeah, the eighty-two and FPS. Sh- that's ter- That's trash. And, and shoot off accordingly. <laughs> yeah. Now, I, I oh, have shit. respect for athletes mm-hmm. way too much to consider mm-hmm. y'all niggas athletes. I'm gonna be real. I wouldn't <laughs> say they're athletes. They not because it's to be an athlete, you have to be athletic. Okay. Mm-hmm. Now, game. Yeah, I get. Yeah, I get you. Thunder. You know they got hand eye coordination and all that. That's cool. That's fun. Mm-hmm. Great job. Yeah. But to be considered an athletic or an athlete, you have to. Ath. It's it's in the word athletic. <laughs> you know. Yeah. It's a certain. I have way too much respect I, for athletes. To, to, I, I want don't want to say diminish, but I just have way too much ex- respect for athletes. They're, <laughs> no, I don't think you're diminishing them. They're you know athletes are their work. They're down a different path. Yeah. Their athleticism is what contributes to the skill that gets them the money. Mm-hmm. You know, Russell Westbrook is athletic as fuck, it's and fuck. it contributes to him being a great basketball player. Yeah. Like, gamers and you know ones that are in esports teams mm. i'm not saying y'all not training they're, they're they train they hours train on end. hours yeah they are training they're they're testing guns testing fighting moves mix-ups all that that's not athleticism you're you're doing a a, a mental type of workout yeah because you're not physically trying to up your game you're you're mentally mm-hmm. trying to do it. Your hand eye coordination does have to be on point though. Hell yeah. But I wouldn't say that they're athletes because they're not athletes. Yeah. People that, say that, poker is a sport too. I mean, hmm, I don't know. I, I would consider uh, what do you so what that would be considered so what's your definition of sport? I guess um capitalist competitiveness. Oh, okay. I like that. You got a sponsorship with Chick-fil-A? Fuck, like, come on. There's nothing wrong with that at all. Mm. What about you? Um, What, like, my my um, definition of, like, what sport is? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think it's a, um, it's definitely a competition. When you play a game competitively on a mm-hmm. professional level for mm-hmm. monetary gain. Yeah, like, you kind of, what you were saying, like, in a capital, capitalistic mm-hmm. society, you know, you're playing... Yeah. Um, a sp- uh, a game at a com- more at a competitive high level where you it's for money mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying yeah there's a winner in sports Andy. illustrated you don't need to be athletic to be on the cover you don't but it's a sport no. yeah but they're not mm-hmm. yeah it's still considered gaming is a sport to me if you esports i should say is a sport mm-hmm. you know yeah now i'm oh. not playing like i'm not in a sport, because I'm a gamer, you know, and I play games. I play Apex Legends. That's not a playing Apex Legends, you know, today is not a sport. I'm not engaging in a sport. I'm just playing a game. Mm-hmm. That means I think Ted says y'all ain't shit to him. He shoots <laughs> the wings off of a fly, being I, eaten by a fucking tarantula. Exactly, three hundred miles away. Exactly, that's brilliant. That's Ted really says, "Come on out, y'all got a problem? Come out, we out here, <laughs> pussy." Come outside. We outside. Bunch of bitches out there. You know what it is. You Let them know, exactly, Ted. You know exactly. What Since it is. the days of Contra, mm. Ted has made little kids cry. Whoa. And give up hope. Now wait a minute. They don't pick up games no more. 
Because they see the Ted Mosby on the screen, but and they're like, "Oh damn! Not only is he a killer, mm-hmm. he is G quad approved. He's we got to get the fuck out." He's G quad approved. That's really the main thing. Because I'm mm-hmm. G quad approved, right there. But um, yeah, I think it's just a uh, you know they're not. You don't have to be an athlete athlete to be on the cover of Sports Illustrated. But nah. I mean, if it's called athleticism, <laughs> incorporated. I didn't know men were on the cover. I thought it was like I thought Sports Illustrated was like Maxim and Jet because all yeah. I kept seeing was women in bikinis. Yeah, that's supposed to be like the, the so uh, I I draw or, or what pulls you in, whatever. Yeah, I didn't know it was like oh, this is really for like athletes and shit. I <laughs> thought it was like nah, this is how I get to look at some bad bitches that aren't fully nude. <laughs> but I'll get to hear, you know, they have an article on Deion Sanders yeah, and how like, he's doing. Yeah. yeah, like Sports Illustrated is, you know, it's classy. It's not classy, uh-huh. but it's better than having yeah. a Playboy mag on your coffee table. You know, uh-huh. you have a Sports yeah. Illustrated, like, oh, okay. Even though Kate Upton's on there, like. <laughs> 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 Damn, what is she up to? I remember she was sponsored, like, by Sobe Lifewater. Remember them? Damn, Sobe. Damn. Yeah, they had that challenge in Vegas, and it was like you can use do it on your TV. Mm-hmm. The you can practice for it, and the challenge was if you can beat her in a staring contest. Oh yeah, you get like a lifetime supply of Sobe Life Water, and like that. twenty thousand. Yeah, I remember that. <sighs> Lost every single That's time. That's she terrible. fucking cheated. <laughs> That's fucking terrible. cheated. Let me drop my pants then. Oh, <laughs> you get to fucking wear goddamn pretty little things. And- yeah. All that, like fashion overs and shit. Let me let's drop trial. Yeah, it's terrible. <laughs> yeah, but it's like- these, these, I think we should mm-hmm. still consider these, you know, mm-hmm. players because they're professional players and there's it's a sport. Yes, I, th- I definitely think so. But, but yeah, that's really one one of the reasons why they're on that cover is because Kyler Murray is in there and Brownie. Is right the fact that they them. have money to even endorse those type of gentlemen like that. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Like the face clan got big. They got big money. That's that's it's, it's so crazy. I like, think uh, Nick Merckx he owns a percentage of face clan too, just like uh, Courage you know, owns a little bit of Hunter Thieves. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's what's up. That's big I'm money. happy for Nick Merckx right there. Yeah, he's like the biggest streamer in the world. That's Twitch. Yeah. Nick Merckx is Twitch now. Yeah, Nick Merckx is Twitch right now. Yeah, um, I wanna I was on watching him the other day. He had sixty two thousand subscribers. <laughs> oh my god. That's oh my <laughs> god. What the oh my god. Sixty two thousand subscribers. And he's partnered, so mm-hmm. he probably keep just for generosity, three dollars. Even mm-hmm. though he probably keeping like four fifty or something. Just for generosity. Three to, and not including no tier twos, no tier threes. Just Tier one, yeah, that's 1.8 million a year just off subscriptions. And I wonder, but it depends on how his contract set up with Twitch because he get paid by Twitch too. Mm-hmm. And then the bits and donations, all that shit. Oh my god, that shit is crazy. It, yeah. It's so man, you know what else is crazy too? Well, now that we into the gaming universe, mm-hmm. Fortnite has released a statement saying that they have so many collaborations. That yeah. they can have, you can have a full 100 player lobby, mm-hmm. and every single person can be a different collaborative skin. Damn. What I mean by that is, if you guys haven't played Fortnite, then I don't know what the fuck y'all was doing three years ago. But I don't know what y'all was doing three years ago, to be honest. Yeah, yeah y'all were dead. It, yeah, <laughs> it had to be. Yeah, y'all had to be. It's the at the time it was the best battle royale game. This yeah. shit was all over the place. Yeah, um, everyone was playing it. Everyone and was playing it's, it. You guys are jumping off of a you know a little bus thing, mm-hmm. landing on an island. It's a hundred people, and the last one alive wins. Basically, mm-hmm. Fortnite would release skins or costumes, where it's like, oh, you can be John Wick, or oh, you can be Scooby Doo, mm-hmm. or it's like, oh, you can be Dora and shit like that. So now they they release a statement, uh, uh, telling people like we've gotten to the point where we have so many collabs that it can we can have a hundred different skins in one game where it's like oh this person is Kratos this person is Ryu yeah this person is Rick Sanchez this person <laughs> is Master Chief this person is John Wick this person is fucking Chun Li and 
I think that's amazing. I think oh, that's yeah, pretty that's cool. This guy's Travis Scott. <laughs> and if yeah. I'm not mistaken, I think they're paying those black creators now. Yeah. Um, I mean, some of them. I mean, I don't know exactly. I don't know about the ones from the early days. Yeah, but but yeah, they're starting to pay people now. Yeah, that's because that that's that good. they got Carlton starts suing them, and I was a chance starts suing them and stuff. But then suddenly, mm-hmm. I think they settled out of court, kind of because gotcha. they probably had a plan in place to pay everybody. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I'm just assuming that I don't know about Epic Games and their business strategies and shit, but yeah. But yeah, that's crazy. I mean, because yeah, you can be Travis Scott fighting Iron Man and, you know, with Darth Vader and Kylo Ren on the way. You know what I'm saying? And Predator ends up winning the whole fucking game. I know. Exactly. And then <laughs> Neymar's there too. Like, what? <laughs> 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 so yeah, I mean, I want to get, I need to get back into Fortnite because I need to get that it's Rick fun. skin. I need to get that Rick skin. Oh, I'm working towards that. I'm definitely working towards that. Yeah. That shit, man, you can gas up a car, Ted, at the gas station. I know. I feel like now I'm just playing Fortnite just to be like, what's going? This is fun. <laughs> I'm not even yeah. sure. I don't care about, you know, fighting mm-hmm. too much. And I mean, I want to fight and win, but I'm just trying to, I'm just fucking around. Because that's, I think Pretty that's much. what we were doing. We were playing Fortnite, you know, just to fuck around. It was, yeah, it was so therapeutic. We weren't trying to be professionals. Either. Yeah, it, we was, it just, was really therapeutic because we just we, get on there and just, talk. Yeah. And oh, my God. Bright with colors in front of us. Yeah, with Anthony. Mm-hmm. Man, that was good times. That was real good times. Real fun times. We yeah. need to get back to those. Yeah. Ah, uh, shit. So, yeah, that's that's amazing. Video games are... This whole video game industry has just come so long. Has come so far. Yeah. From Pong. Or what was that? Tennis? No, it was Pong. Yeah, the Pong. Two bars and the white ball. Yeah. yeah. Now, has. this is something I found out, too. hmm Did you know... And first of all, this is just this what I'm about to say is just an example of how the 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 dollar, mm-hmm. the U.S. dollar mm-hmm. is um it, it it might need some reinforcement. Uh, its stability is starting to look a little questionable. Mm. I say it's about ninety six percent stable, <laughs> but that, you know that four percent that's a big foe. That's a big foe. Yeah, that's a big foe. So. What had happened was, Ted, did you notice know right here? In 2019, you remember WoW, World of Warcraft? Ah, World of Warcraft? Mm-hmm. That game? Yeah, I ain't never played that shit. I never played that shit. There, so apparently there's Warcraft gold in there. Mm. In 2019, that gold from that video game mm-hmm. was seven was worth seven times more than the money, the cash in Venezuela. They, yeah, damn. People would would mine for gold in that game yeah. and then they would, you know, sell it to someone else. They're like in in a sense, uh in a sense, uh transfer it yeah. into a like real legal tender because mm-hmm. it was just worth that much. Yeah. The um you know, people have PCs on PCs on PCs, rooms of just PCs mining, you know, gold and mm-hmm. mining Bitcoin and whatever. Yeah. They have big fans on everything because just their computers are working so hard. But yeah. Exactly. It's, it and now like that. Salvador, um, they're the first country to uh, accept Bitcoin as legal currency. Yeah, that's crazy. That shit is. It's oh, moving. my Shit's God. Moving. And they, I think it'll it'll work well for, for them because it's, you know, they a lot of the. A lot of the Central American and uh, South American countries, they they overall they're they're suffering from inflation. Inflation really fucks them over. Yeah. And with something like Bitcoin, that's mm, for the most part inflation proof. I think it's gonna work pretty well for them. Let's see. I, I would like to see how this can. Uh, I would like to see the advancement of yeah, this. crypto you know, has a stabilizing their economy. Yeah, crypto has a long, not a long way to go, but uh, um, mm-hmm. it just has like to be stable. I guess it has a yeah uh, a while to go, but I mean it's making people money, making uh kids millionaires. Yeah, if you bought some Bitcoin in 2015, mm-hmm. congratulations! <laughs> you get you any coin, Ted? You getting some coin? I need some coin. No, some Doge. I don't have no coins yet, so I'm trash. Doge is starting to fall. 
the, the risk of it all is that it can be completely worth it, worthless in like 18 hours. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, it's so volatile. Yeah, that yeah, that's the that's the big downfall. It's a big ass gamble. I get Coinbase alerts to be like, you know, mm-hmm. Bitcoin is up, Bitcoin is down. But sometimes mm-hmm. it'd be up and then other days it'd be down and up. But it's like really yeah. volatile, like extreme ups and extreme downs. Yeah, that that's the that's the big downfall. I don't I don't recommend investing in it like that. I think the most I've ever done over the years was probably two hundred dollars. Yeah, I mean that's yeah. good to keep in there, you know. Some I, money I that put you some when I can, but it's just like you know, like Doge. Doge was a joke when it first came out. Yeah. Elon Musk is what made that like big and start making it value. Yeah. But he can wake up tomorrow and just be like, all right, I'm done. I, I got enough for the spaceship. Yeah, yeah do- fuck, Doge fuck is that over. Cheap Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm out. I'm out. Yep. It's just yeah, it's too much power for that one dude to have. You know, all over all that coin, all over all that money. Man. But I digress. Yeah. But I think but, you know th- that's it for me in the whole video game and digital world. Yeah. I just wanted to put all those things out there. As you should, as you should. Mm-hmm. But I think it's time for our best segment of the podcast. Mm. The absolute best segment in all of podcastdom. Mm-hmm. I'm coming. I'm coming at you. I'm coming at mm-hmm. you. Uh, uh, Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan. Here it is. Mm-hmm. Whatever the fuck. Fuck you. Mm. Fuck you. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, but you, you know, it's it's time for the rant. It's time for us to rant it out. Something we got to get off our chest. Something that grinds our gears every fucking day. It happens over mm-hmm. and over and over. I'm tired mm-hmm. of it. Yes. Uh, I could go first real quick because yeah. this is, mine is just real quick. Mm-hmm. And it's just, go ahead. It's nothing, too, it's nothing too big, but it's yeah. just annoying. Um, mm-hmm. I know, I know, you know, this. Uh, okay, maybe it's one or two things and maybe they're kind of contradictory. Hey, we got nothing but time here, so there ain't no time schedule. It's a little, it's a little contradictory, but you know, I'm gonna fucking uh-huh. say it because humans are very are contradictory. Or what am I trying yeah. to say? Uh, hypocritical. Hypocritical. There's the word. Like you said it mm-hmm. earlier. Um, mm-hmm. But um, my boy in the NBA playoffs. Okay, my boy mm-hmm. James Harden was out there the other night for the Nets. Mm-hmm. Brooklyn Nets game seven. My boy James Harden was out there, and mm-hmm. he's obviously injured, man. Even mm-hmm. though he put up twenty two points and nine rebounds, whatever, he's mm-hmm. obviously out there injured, and he's not playing the same because he's fucked up. His hamstring is fucked up. Oh. So my thing is, if you hurt, if you mm-hmm. hurt, Sk- Shannon Sharp said this the other day. First of all, Shannon Sharp, other rant. Shannon Sharp is the best thing on TV right now, um, yeah. but. If you hurt, Shannon Sharp said, if you hurt, then stay out the game. Yeah. Get out the game. You hurt. He's hurt. But if yeah. you in the game, I don't want to hear shit. You must be fine. I don't want to hear shit. So I expect yeah. you to be where you at. You, yeah. James Harden, you a superstar. You mm-hmm. need to be. He couldn't hit a three at all because he couldn't pull up because he was there was no legs in the shot because his mm-hmm. hamstring is fucked up. He was driving mm-hmm. to the basket. And was like yeah. going about to do something. Normally he would bow, 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 try to get a foul and, you know, go in. But he couldn't do it. He just kick it out. And it's just making the team worse. I mean, it made it, I don't know, not worse because he put up 22 points or whatever. But it was probably Did from they, like mostly from free throws. From I drawing fouls. Some, seeing some, uh, some articles about it. Is it true that they're out? Yeah, Brooklyn Nets are out because oh. Kevin Durant had to do everything. Kevin Durant is the best player in, in, the, in the world. What happened to Kyrie? Kyrie is hurt. <laughs> but he was out. He was out the game, at least. But yeah. his hurt ass. They both hurt. James. Oh, so, so here's, I'm sorry for interrupting for one. But here's my next question. So James volunteered to stay in. He insisted. I, I, get, I don't know. I think he's trying to put it on because, you know, it's the playoffs. I got to put it on for my niggas. That was a weird motion. Um, yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> I, you know, I got to put on for my boys. You know, it's my team. Playoffs. Mm-hmm. I get it, but if you not, he wasn't that positive for the team. I would assume because I he, gotta put on for my name. the hamstring was terrible, and Ke- and Kevin Durant had to do everything. He was out there in overtime. He had he forced the overtime, and he was out there 
uh, the final shot in overtime to make him win, he couldn't even get it. He was so short because he was so tired. He was playing 55 minutes. He played the whole game and overtime. He was so tired he couldn't get the last um, shot off. What's the average amount of time that a great It's 48 minutes. Oh, shit. Yeah, 12 minute for uh, four 12 minute quarters. So, I mean, it's just that was just terrible. That's my one thing. Then my second thing is, mm-hmm. uh, it's still got to do with the playoffs, is I don't like these people complaining about the playoffs because <laughs> LeBron ain't in it and then now the Nets ain't in it. It's mm-hmm. some good playoffs. We got Trey Young. Trey, Atlanta is in the Eastern Conference Finals, bruh. Like from now from now on, they can make the finals. If Atlanta go to the finals, it's mm-hmm. over for you. For everyone. Who does Atlanta have? They got Trey Ice Trey the gang. Trey Young. Oh, Ooh, Trey. you see him out there. He be, he he's like it's cold and shivery. So he go like this. Oh <laughs> my god. Oh, my. Ice Trey. Ice Trey. Ice Trey. Okay. I, I like that dude only because I saw the videos where um New York was getting on his ass when they was playing. Who was they playing? The Knicks? Yeah. And they was just like talking shit, booing him and all that. Mm-hmm. And then he just started, he like went off. Yeah, he went off. And on New York. he started looking at people. And he was like looking at the other teammates. He was like, what happened? What happened? It got it's quiet. So quiet in here. Yeah. It is so quiet. And what like game on? five, game six, when he eliminated him, he bowed. He took a bow on the Madison mm-hmm. Square Garden. So yeah, he's, I mean, I like when I like young it. kids go are put, setting their legacy. I like when, you know, mm-hmm. Patrick Mahomes is out here going to Super Bowls because that's going to be talked about in 10, 15 years when they consider yeah. Pat Mahomes, you know, whatever. Mm-hmm. When he goes to the Hall of Fame, he's going to go to the Hall of Fame, which is crazy to say. It's like, mm-hmm. it's his third or fourth year or whatever. Excuse me. Oh, yeah, he right. getting Hall of Fame. Yeah, but. He can't, he can't be different. No, he, he's not going to be. I'm, I'm just letting you know right now. No, he's not. He ain't. Was he first round draft pick? Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. They traded up to he get him. Can't, can't be the GOAT. I'm, I'm letting you know right now. I mean, you know, it I depends. Mean, he, can't, he can't be. You're expected to do great. But when you're a fucking a, a, a white man who yeah. had a hard life yeah. and then you come in six round, this is why I fucking hate drafts all across the board because they mm-hmm. don't mean shit. Mm-hmm. Tell them. Six round. Mm-hmm. I'm the goat. I'm the goat. Mr. Thomas Patrick Edwards Brady Jr. Mm-hmm. Thomas. I don't care what any of y'all say. That man right there that's is white, the goat. That's a white man. Y'all, that's a white y'all, man. First of all, he was misranked. No, he was accurately ranked because this is all ranking. It's bullshit to me. Mm-hmm. But go, go ahead, Ted. Let me let me let you do your rant because now I just developed another rant. <laughs> I just developed another rant. <laughs> go ahead, Ted. I'm so, I'm so sorry. So yeah, it's just so as far as the playoffs. That's because LeBron and KD ain't in it. This playoffs is just as exciting. Devin oh. Booker is about to – Devin Phoenix is looking like the best team in the league. Uh-huh. The Clippers, Kawhi is out. Uh, Clippers, Clippers, Clippers going to They were still doing their thing, though. Um, they were doing their thing. Do? PG-13. There's George. another one, too. Um, uh, Terrence uh, Mann. Yeah, man. There we go. I'll yeah, yeah he was balling. He was a baller. And he was – yeah, did you see that video of him? He said his phone was on 1%. He was on the way – from the G League was just done. He just finished the G League. He was on mm-hmm. the way home or something. Uh, went to the airport. His phone's on one percent, and the NBA called him at one percent. And right when he hit uh, ended, it died. And he went back from the airport back an hour and a half to the hotel so he can you know try out for the for Clippers or something like that. But the Clippers while they're won. in the middle of a playoff game. No, no, no. He was. I think he was. I don't know if he was there the whole season. I don't know when he joined. Okay. Yeah, I'm I, not saying like they the game started, but I'm just saying like it's playoffs now. No, I don't trying. No, I don't think. Are, I think he was. This was before then. Oh, okay. Maybe I don't know. I can't. I don't know when it happened. But yeah, yes. he was. Yeah, he said God was trying to you know keep my phone on for extra that one percent for just for that call. Because and he put up thirty and bought, bought that team to the to the Eastern Conference Finals. That's amazing. That's, That's amazing. awesome. I love stories like that. That's why I love sports. <laughs> yes. I love stories like that, too. Mm-hmm. But, I, I mean, yeah, the, that stories like that, Terrence Mann, who, out of out of where, you know, wherever, is out here <laughs> dropping dick off on mm-hmm. um, on the Jazz, on Rudy mm-hmm. Gobert. Yeah. That's what I, I love shit like that. So, yeah. these, these playoffs are fine the way it is. You know, people mm-hmm. are injured. People are always going to be injured. You know, it sucks. It's shitty. I mean, this yeah. is the first playoff in, playoffs in over 10 years without LeBron and or Steph Curry. 
It's crazy. It's amazing that we even have that statistic written somewhere. I know. It's crazy. Everybody want to see that. I mean, they're going to be good, I guess. I mean, if Clay come back. Ugh, but, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's just, that's my rant. It's just, let these let the kids play. Mm-hmm. I like when young kids get win championships. I, don't, it's just, I root for the youngins. I mean, this is definitely a, a moment for them now. Like, Yeah, they're solidifying team, their legacy, you know? Yeah, and we got to be we got to be honest with ourselves if you if you're a basketball player you know who the big trouble you know who the threats are yeah you on the east and in the west yeah you know and now those two threats are out yep this could be like oh damn batman and superman dead mm-hmm. well fuck i'm lex luther i'm about to take the fuck over this yeah. is like the perfect time to shine mm-hmm. this is the perfect time to shine yeah but that's what you these know, young kids is doing they shining, yeah. they shining. And yeah. Magic City about to be turned. <laughs> Woo. Don't let them go to the NBA Finals. Don't mm. let them go to the NBA. If you you know how many Migos members and how many Cardi B is gonna be at the game. They're gonna be at the game. It's gonna be drippy. <laughs> Lil Baby, it's gonna be drippy. It's gonna be QC in the front row. <laughs> yep. The whole, QC the all whole in the front row. The whole Laguna is gonna be there. They're gonna be smoking in on TV. I don't give a fuck. They gonna be lit. Some big ass fucking. They gonna be lit with a with a grand uh, eighth in the wood. They gonna be lit. You gonna, you gonna see fucking rappers that don't even be hitting the scene like that. Yeah, Andre three thousand and Big Boy are there. And Trey Young gonna be at the after party. Hell yeah! At the at Magic man. City. Yeah, it's it's it's. It's Ooh. crazy. It's it's dope yes. right now. So yeah, let the kids be kids. Let them mm-hmm. let these niggas you know shine. Let these stars shine, and that's yep. my that's my rant. Let them shine. I feel you. I like that part where you say you know these are great stories, like the one percent thing. Yeah, it's just amazing yeah. stories. I love sports, man. It's all yes. of them too, from tennis to fucking well, not all of them, but from mm-hmm. tennis to fucking whatever. Mm-hmm. To Badminton. Fu- I don't know about them. To fucking, I was I was about to cry the other day because I was watching beach volleyball Olympic shit. Because Misty May Train, you remember Misty May Trainer and Kerry Walsh Jennings, the goats? Oh my god! They went three Don't. the past three Olympics. They went man, and I'm getting into Olymp- my Olympics bag. I'm watching so many Olympics. Shakari yes. Richardson out of out of uh, LSU. She's about to she about to be the fastest. She's the fastest woman in the world. Uh, she's fastest. the one that just clutched the spot for the Tokyo Olympics. Yeah, right. The fastest. Olympic she's the fastest America. American right now. Homegirl yeah. in Jamaica still got some for her, but yeah, she she she's the truth. Simone Biles, yeah. I love stories like that. All that shit. Simone just won what her seventh national title. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's yeah, that's yeah, that's true. Th- these are amazing stories. Yeah, I love. That's um, why I love sports, man. I love them. You know what ain't an amazing story? What's not What's drafts? Mm. Drafts. I'm gonna <laughs> start with the developmental developmental rant that you gave me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Start with it. I don't care what number these niggas are yeah yes. I, I don't care what cd and it's everybody it ain't even just football mm-hmm. i don't care what number cd lamb is i don't care what patrick mm. mahone is i don't mm. care what lamar is mm. i don't care what fucking um zion williamson is because i apparently i was right and i should have bet like five niggas at work money like he is not about to do what y'all think he about to do mm-hmm and and look look at me look at me is he not trying to get out of the Pelicans is his family to, not yeah, mad because it's like y'all not building a team around him which is true yeah but like I said I was like he is not about to, what do y'all think no this is this man can probably go against the White Howard that that's it y'all y'all got no no people okay see mm-hmm. let me let me calm down you're number one. You know how many number ones are failures and how many number whatever are so great. Let's start with Thomas Patrick. Mm-hmm. Edwards Brady. Mm-hmm. Thomas Edward Patrick Brady. Edward, yeah, on. Thomas Edwards Bra- Patrick Brady. Mm-hmm. Junior. Mm-hmm. So y'all get it right. Number 12. Mm, number 12. Number 12. TB12. Y'all know how much I hate drafts? I had to find out. I had to do some, a little bit of research to figure out what draft number he was. He wasn't even number one. Not at all. He wasn't even number six. <laughs> yeah, number ra- six. Round six. Round six. Pick like that's three, five teams. Three hundred and whatever the fuck. Yeah, that's see y'all no, that, that that's trash. Lamar Jackson, not a Super Bowl winner. Yeah, but he is a fucking great What's dual a, quarterback. Was he a first round pick or a second? He round was pick? the last round. He was the last pick of uh, the first round. 
Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. If I'm not mistaken, he was like number thirty-two. Something like yeah, something like that. Yeah. The the room was empty basically. It was just his table. Yeah, like, I remember that. I, I'm like, damn, I nobody wanted Lamar. And it's like y'all really didn't want. Yeah, and it's like, damn. Look what he's done. Look at the stuff he's produced. Yeah. Now cool. they just now they just have to refurbish the team. Yeah. Now like, they're changing the game. He's changing the way niggas play football. Exactly. Patrick Mahomes, they got that right. But I'm still not. Gonna, that's why you can't be the goat because you're number one. You're supposed to be number one. Yeah. Number six is gonna be the goat. This man has more rings than teams have rings. Yeah. He he. You know he no he sits in his own box. Yeah. There's like, the owner's box and then there's this. Oh, this is the goat box. Like this is bunch of curry goat tikka masala in there. Bunch it, of it's shit. it's fun for the family, but only the Brady family can enjoy it. Yeah. It's so crazy. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> so. I don't like rankings. I feel like it's it's just not good. I I always yeah. think back to Derrick Rose mm. and how he was supposed to be the savior for Chicago. Yeah, he and was. His it's knee. just like, yeah, you know. Derrick Rose, like, to this day, I've never seen no one play foot, uh, basketball like Derrick Rose. And I yes. think that's the greatest, in my opinion, one of the greatest, greatest single seasons a basketball player has ever had period and i'm talking mm-hmm. about his predecessor michael jordan too yes he i ain't never seen nobody play basketball like derrick rose that mvp season he mm-hmm. was he was he brought basketball back for me he was ugh, i was in love derrick rose is amazing bro that man back and forth yeah he was too back. fast it's like too strong it was he was doing crazy his, shit in the air his speed scared me yeah. It looked like he couldn't stop. He couldn't. Are That's he... probably why. That's why his knees, yeah. both his knees went. You know? Yeah. Blew up from the jump. Derrick Rose's knees, you know. <laughs> I don't care what y'all say. That's a bar. That's a bar. I know it's it's at the expense of a man's <laughs> pride and probably his <laughs> his mental health, and I'm sorry for that, but that's a bar. That's a bar. I blew up from the jump, Derrick Rose's knees. I'm not I'm not forgetting. Y'all first don't sleep on Lil Dicky. If we're going to talk about right white rappers, yeah, don't see Lil Dicky is on Eminem. I agree. Ass. Damn. <laughs> he is on Eminem's ass. I I agree. Lil, yeah, if you're talking about white rappers, yeah. Lil mm-hmm. Dicky's up. Because he, he's doing more than rap, too. Spitting out tough shit, overcooked chicken. Yeah. Stop playing with me. Yeah. That's, that's... Okay, but back to back to back to the rant. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I don't like I don't like drafts. Because then when they happen, and then the person that people be like be rooting for him, but yeah, oh yeah, that, he's going they, number one. Yeah, and then when it's like they don't produce the results that you wanted, yeah, they probably doing the best they can. Yeah, but th- when they don't do the things you want them to do, it's like y'all don't talk about them no more. Yeah. Um, I like and Greg Oden. Greg Oden was picked yeah, for Kevin Durant. KD. Yeah, that was gonna be my next one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, where that man knees at? <laughs> A non-existent. Exactly. See, non-existent. It, and and apparently right now. KD is the uh, the greatest basketball player. player in the you world. know what? No, I'm a side with Shannon. I don't even know what they were talking about, but he's the healthiest basketball player. <laughs> we'll say that. We'll say that. I'm gonna just side with Shannon. He's the healthiest basketball player. That's in the world. funny. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's what it is. Yeah, that's. Funny. I'm gonna just side with that part. So I just I don't like drafts. I, I don't like I don't like drafts because you're you're on a collegiate level and collegiate and pro is. So too, oh yeah, it's totally especially with football. It's totally different. yeah, yeah. Football they can take your spot so quick. Yeah, That's you know how I'm many like, I don't like watching Terrell Suggs have to beat down in the locker room so they don't take his spot. Yeah, hey man, I don't like really watching kids play football because it'd be too. The scores be like thirty eight to you know to three or sixty five to seventy three. Um, and it's because they. They not that good at football. <laughs> yeah, you know, so, you just got I like you got watching people who just want to play because they they want to play. I like I like watching you know twenty seven year old millionaires run across my TV. You know that's why I like. Yeah, because they're like you know that. they kill each other. To those man, ball is the reason to live. Yeah, and they you know, y'all need to stop sleeping on little Dicky. He <laughs> gives such good bars. <laughs> you know, like what are you talking about? What like are y'all doing? <laughs> you know, he was making. Oh, what what did he say? Russell Westbrook practiced all the time in the gym. And it was different from when you balling up in the gym to the pro because to those dudes, ball was the reason to live. Mm. So uh, this motherfucker D up on these uh, veterans making children of men. Mm. 
I don't know the rest, but y'all need to listen to uh, Russell Westbrook on a farm. Yeah. One of his greatest works of art ever. <laughs> it's amazing. That's, That's a amazing. work of art. Yeah. Should yes. be hung up in the Louvre. That should. Yes, exactly. That. Oh, my God. Y'all don't know. Yeah, don't but know. yeah, I don't like draft numbers. I don't I don't care for drafts because then it's just where they at. And Tom Brady is just the perfect example. Yeah. Three. And Kobe. Kobe was um uh he came out he of was, high school. I don't know. Not touching. Eminem can. Eminem can touch him. Mm-hmm. Eminem might be able to punch him on a certain day. But not <laughs> these nah, not Ted. Not Ted. Don't don't do that, Ted. That's terrible. Arizona Zervis, not touching him. Arizona Zervis. Whatever the mm-hmm. fuck. He had made one song. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's it for my rant. Well, I'm just ra- wrapping it up. You know, KD's we'll the healthiest basketball player in the world. Yeah. Little Dicky can't be touched. Mm-hmm. Draft day is trash. Johnny Manziel. Mm. Where where are we now? Yeah, where are we where, now? Where are we now? Tim Tebow, where are we now? Greg Oden, where are we now? Yeah, it's yeah. terrible. But you know, that's the way of life, way of sports. But yeah. B <laughs> B Rad G, yeah. don't at me. B Rad G. <laughs> Be red. I be red. Be red. G. Oh, you might have a point there. You know. <sighs> be red from what? Eight Mile? No, Malibu's most run it. Run it. Oh my God! I'm thinking of Eminem. Rabbit. Yeah, whatever. Mm-hmm. Be red. G. <laughs> That's my Malibu. boy. All the baggers got a nine. Yeah, everybody got a nine. Back. <laughs> we got. We got bag ladies. <laughs> bag ladies. <laughs> everybody got a nine. Hey yo, Krista the barista. <laughs> Man, that fucking movie is iconic. <laughs> that shit is. <laughs> I want to watch that now. I got my PhD. My playing degree. Yeah, my playing degree. <laughs> click on click when, you, when Tay Diggs when you had the gun. He was like, click, I'm going to bust your ass. Hey. Click him, click him. Mm. <laughs> Holler back, player. What the fuck you doing with seashells in your hair? <laughs> Man, that movie's so good. Oh, we definitely got to start like a little <laughs> we watch movies. <laughs> yeah, we got to start something like that. Coming yes. soon to the Ted Ned Network. <laughs> yeah. But thank y'all. Thank y'all for tuning in. I see you in the stream. Thank you, Dion, for mm-hmm. being here. Yep. You know, thank y'all for just being you. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Please keep following sure. us. Keep checking in on us. We're going to keep coming at y'all every Sunday night. Yep. You know, we started off a little late today, but you know, what? whatever. You it's know, all good. It's all good. We wanted to make sure y'all can see it. Mm-hmm. You got to mm-hmm. see it to believe it. To believe it. Exactly. Mickey Mouse. But thank y'all for being you. Love I'll yourself, run around please. y'all team. Y'all mm. a player, but I'm Nate Smith. Hmm. I love girls in them jeans. Mm-hmm. What you call them, Danny? High waisted. Stop. Stop playing. Y'all not touching, little dicky. But fo- uh, keep following us. Keep keep going in on us at Ted and Ned Show. Yep. At, at Dead ne- Dead Dead Nemesis. D E D Nemesis. Give them the apps. At the Ted Mosby. T H E T E D M O S B E. Another one. So keep tuning in. Keep being y'all. Love yourself. Cause who the hell's <laughs> Else is gonna do it, you know what I'm saying? Lil Dicky might be better than Jay Z. <laughs> At that point, we gotta end it off the bla- out the blasphemy. I don't even think I know who Tupac and Biggie is at this point. <laughs> I'm so serious. We gotta end it off the bla- the blasphemy. Thank y'all for being you. Thank y'all for tuning in. We'll see y'all. Peace out, y'all. Peace. Ooh.